Hello, welcome to today's pick a card. And this card is about do they want to get out of the friend zone? And the premise is kind of you don't want them to get out of the friend zone. I think most of you ladies or gentlemen, of course, too, <laughs> know what I'm talking about. You do have this guy you do like, but just not in that way. And um, then things can get somewhat uncomfortable. I've had a situation like this um, this year in spring and ever since I planned to just pick a card it took me a while to do it but um, now I decided it is the time to do so and um, anyway it is yeah you do have this friend and do they want to get out if you are more interested in the person I have feelings for what does he feel for me then you should check another pick a card or technically you can watch this one as well however just switch it around then because right now the um, no sometimes would be the better option unless you may be ambivalent as well um, then maybe the yes is good but or you want to get out of the friend zone as well but again I had um, this reading in mind with um, yeah there's this friend you have and he wants or she wants more than what you want to offer because usually yeah those things can end bad this is what happened to me this year and I personally made it very clear that I was not interested that I do have somebody else in my heart not talking about twin flames or anything but just saying there is somebody else and it took that person a while to really get it but when he got it he just turned nasty and um, yeah, I cut him out of my life right away. Anyway, you do have seven piles and I'm going to show you. We have my London magnets for number one, 22 pins. You do have Berlin for number two. The little Seattle bear would be number three. We've got the Barcelona elephant, four. Los Angeles, Los Angeles, number five, and my hometown. <laughs> this is my hometown as number six. Okay, so let's start with number one. Now, before we start, I want to see how this works. This deck does contain nudity, so if you are scared of nudity, please click off right now. And I'm going to draw five cards and major arcana cards are going to be a yes. Minor arcana cards are going to be neutral. They're just going to tell me about the situation and court cards are going to be a no. If we do have more major arcana cards than court cards, it is a yes. If you have more court cards than major arcana cards, it is going to be a no. And if we do have neither one or the same amount of court cards and um, major arcana cards that person is somewhat ambivalent but also we will see how, how does your person see you anyway and by person your person i mean your friend okay so now we are going to start with london number one so as i said this is just going to be a quick one I'm not going to use any other decks, but when I had a situation this year, I was looking for a pick a card like this and I couldn't find one. So I thought maybe somebody else would be interested in this kind of reading as well. So you do have love. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we do have a yes. We do have a yes. Oh. <laughs> But maybe that person is not sure whether you um, have feelings as well because we do have one major arcana card it's the moon it's a german deck we do have no court cards and we do have four minor arcana cards we do have the love card however if we had no major arcana cards i would just have used, read this like friendship you know you can love your friend as well but that person <sighs> has feelings for you and wants to get out of the friend zone but the moon to me is talking about fears 
Yeah, it's talking about to me a not very strong root chakra that there's just some unhealed issues. Uh, fear of commitments could be an issue or fear of losing somebody and not even like taking that step. You know, when you do fall in love with a friend, then often it is an issue like what if you but if we start this relationship and it doesn't end well, then we will lose the friendship as well. So fear of loss is an issue with that person. Um, however, that person is yeah sometimes actually really, really... I don't want to say depressed because I'm not a therapist and I can't um, determine that with cards. But to me, this actually is the depression card. Because we do have these sirens who are pulling the person underwater usually. They're drowning people. And it's like being pulled down and with emotions because it's a cup card. And here you see this person lying there and there's this kraken coming up. Or just the tentacles of a kraken. Like trying to get hold of that person. Right? And um, maybe his intuition is trying to tell him something. Maybe this is another person. Maybe... Even this is you. Sex doesn't matter. Gender does not matter. Even if you are the male person. And this is the feminine. Or if you are homosexual. It doesn't matter. I see this as your person. And I see this as either you or somebody else. Okay. Who is trying to maybe reach that person. Then what I like in this card. We do have the moon. And there is this embryo growing. You know. It's like. Maybe there is chance for a rebirth. But first we have to go through death. And I'm just I'm noticing those dogs. It's the, what's it called, Siberus? I don't, I forgot what the um, name of the dog is. The three-headed dog that is guarding the river of sticks, I believe it's called. It's uh, separating the realm of the living and the realm of the dead. So sometimes we do have to transform something. And in this card, even though this is a card that's talking to me, as I said, about something like depression or substance abuse, maybe even suffering. However, even if it's not a clinical depression, doesn't have to be that bad. This is not a very happy card. To me, it's the unhappiest card in the deck. But you see there is light at the end of the tunnel. So maybe there is some hope. Anyway, there is fear. Maybe your person... Again, by person, I mean friend, already made some implications and you turned your person down. Or your person is, your friend is scared that you might turn him, her down because that had, had happened in the past. However, there is still hope. And we see that in those cards as well because we do have this card, the Six of Wands. It's um, talking about victory. And maybe you can tell right here it's the Medusa. And in this deck, we do have two devils. We have a male devil and we do have a female devil. And the female devil is the Medusa. And the devil card to me is the card of the ego, also representing our fears as well. And so this card to me symbolizes, yeah, I do have some old fears. I do have some issues and I want to work them through. And this card, Victory, tells um, that this is absolutely possible to do so. This is the male devil card in this deck. It's the horned god. and But I'm looking for Medusa. Sorry. Anyway, uh, there is hope for your person because we do have this victory card. But you always have to yeah, slay your own devil. Seriously. It's like the third card from the front. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, the black goddess... It's the um, gaze of the Medusa, and you can tell it's the same person. I mean, she has snake hair as well. And anyway, so your person is hoping that there might be a victory, and your person actually, if it is somebody you you do like to, I would um, advise you to give that person a chance, because that person is in it for the long haul because we do have the ten of pentacles this card is talking about long lasting relationship about marriage even and we do have the two of cups which is a card of great affection of course of love even i mean this is the german word for love liebe you know so 
there is definitely love here because again we do have a yes and then the love card is coming out as well but if you say okay i'm sure i don't want that person it's just not doing it for me for whatever reasons then um you should know that this person does have feelings and then you should at least imply don't give false hope imply that you're not interested that way because we don't yeah it's sometimes better to make a clear cut and tell someone than to giving them false hope and holding them in this kind of suffering but you know sometimes if you don't feel it you don't feel it as pheromones and stuff i mean especially women as women we have some kind of smell and we can smell male pheromones whether they match with our dna or not and if a man is like do you say wearing perfume using a lot of perfume and stuff and you don't really smell his pheromones then we also have it in our taste buds when you kiss a guy and maybe some of you women have experienced that before all of a sudden you just not not, not gonna happen because your brain is telling you it's not a match it's just not genetically a match and you feel repulsed to the person even if it's the greatest guy on earth and you wonder oh man why can't i love him but if it's not a match it's not a match right our biology is um telling us you know usually men they um choose the woman first they do they say the first um picking by whatever they like you know whatever they feel attracted to and then it's the woman usually you ultimately decides yes this would be a match genetically or not and again we can't smell it and if we don't smell it because there's too much perfume or whatever then we can taste it uh, subconsciously of course when we kiss a guy and this is why if you're a guy and you've ever wondered why you were um like meeting a girl and all of a sudden you kissed her and she was like nope i don't want to have sex with you anymore <laughs> it's that you know it's like her body just telling her it's not gonna happen um so if you know you most definitely are not interested in your guy or your person let your person know if you are ambivalent as well then you should know your person is somebody that could last for a long time with the ten of pentacles and um however if you do want that person i would still advise you not to jump in right now because we still have this kind of energy and you know like attracts like so if this kind of negative energy is still a factor you should um check your own energy maybe and see if you do have some issue it doesn't have to be that bad but maybe you have some issues as well with something unresolved and then it's important that you raise your frequency and that would help your person to get out of um, that hole as well so yeah that was pile london does your person want out of want to get out of the friend zone the answer is yes and if you want your person to get out of the friend zone i'm happy for you if not sorry uncomfortable but let's go before i forget if this resonates please like subscribe and share you know this does something to the algorithm and other people can find me too also of course i am available for private readings and if you want to win a private reading i'm going to give one away when I hit 500 subscribers, so in order to enter, you would have to subscribe and like, hit the bell icon and leave a comment. You can leave anything, but um, I don't know, like a heart, <laughs> for example, or whatever you like. And then you are entered into the giveaway. So, pile number two, Berlin. If you do not know how this works, please check out the intro. I explained how this reading is going to work. And before I forget, I also want to ask you if this resonates, please like, subscribe and share. This would help me grow my channel. And also, if you do want a free giveaway, I'm going to give one reading away 
once I hit 500 subscribers and you can enter by subscribing, liking and setting the bell icon of course and please leave a comment if you are interested in winning a private reading with me. But now we will see Berlin. Does your person, your friend, want to get out of the friend zone? Another yes. Okay, okay. This person is not um, one hundred percent sure. I mean, it's a yes. We do have one yes card. We have no no cards. And um, can you see that? Yeah, one yes card, no no card. So it's a yes. However, this person, it's not that I, I would say that your person is 100% sure because I think your person rather would like to see where it goes because the first card, the yes card, is the Fool. And the Fool is a very nice card. It's actually one of my favorites. However, the Fool is not the most committal card. The Fool is more like, oh, let's just see where this is going. It's a card that's talking about flirting, new beginnings maybe it is someone you don't know too well maybe just met or maybe you have kind of like a more shallow relationship or you just like hanging out with a friend group i can imagine that with the six of cups is um, the orgies of dionysus <laughs> to me this is the party card in this deck it doesn't have to be like literal orgies but it's um, even though you can tell there's something like this going on here right i mean seriously and i don't know what he's doing However, <laughs> party card, you know, friend group. This is um, talking to me about a group of friends and we do have this flirting card. So I think your person would actually like to know what's on your mind because we do have the Ace of Swords. This card is talking about communication, but also about wanting to know something or clearing something. If there's something unspoken, then to actually say what... Um, that person wants to happen. This card, the Seven of Wands, in this deck is talking about being brave. It's talking about, yeah, being bold and taking a step forward. However, we still have the Three of Swords. So there is some sadness in this connection. Maybe your person is not over some other loss from the past. This might be because we do have the ghost of the past here. However, there is this um, butterfly here that's talking about transformation and the fool also has a butterfly. I hope you can see. It. Yes, has a butterfly. So there is transformation, um, healing going on. And then the snake, of course, is a symbol of healing as well. So this person, I would not say is like madly, madly, madly in love with you. But this person is interested. Yeah, it's in your person of friend however is interested in flirting and seeing if this can go somewhere maybe a person would be a little sad if it would not go somewhere there is this card of sadness again it can be something from the past however it, yeah it's it doesn't look like big 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 love at this point but again the fool is a card it's still zero it's talking about a uh, beginnings so maybe again you don't know each mother for a long time or yeah there's still some um some way to go in order to figure out can this last or can't this last it, it can i mean the fool is the beginning of the journey right so it definitely can last but it's not again at this very 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 committal energy yet so if you are interested in your person, you can flirt with your person. We do have the flirt card here and this card again, talking about friend groups, about a light energy. And um, I think there will be communication and yeah, this card of bravery. So if you are interested, you can be brave and take a step forward. Otherwise, I guess your person will be brave and talk to you. So I hope you liked it. As I said, please um, like, subscribe and share if it resonated. I am uploading more pick a cards. I need to do something right now. I'm sorry. There will be more in the future. So yeah, please check out my channel. And again, I am available for private readings.
Okay. So, we're going to our little Seattle bear. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> I got it at the airport last year when I was in Los Angeles, but it still counts even though I just, um, yeah, I, I flew from Los Angeles to Seattle and then um, got the plane to Germany. But it still counts because when I was an exchange student, when I was 17, I actually made holidays in Seattle with my host family. So I have been there on a trip. So. It's not that I was just there on the on the airport and then bought a magnet to show off that I've been to Seattle. I actually have been. <laughs> but yeah, this is the cute Seattle bear. And um, Seattle, let's see if your person, your friend, I'm say your person out of habit, but I mean your friend in that case, okay? If this friend wants to get out of the friend zone or not. And also to you, if you like this video, if it resonates, please like, subscribe and share and hit the bell icon. I'm going to upload more videos like this. And also I'm going to give away a free reading once I hit 500 subscribers. If you're interested in entering, you again, please have to subscribe, like and leave a comment in the um, comment section below. It could be just like, I don't know, a teddy bear, for example. <laughs> Or another comment that you're interested in a private reading. So let's see. Seattle. Oh, two of the same cards. Okay, it's a no. We have one no card because it's a court card. And we have three minor arcana cards. What oh, is this interesting? Those two cards also came out in the last reading and I am drawing out of 79 cards. Okay, um, the first impulse I got, I mean we do have a no, even though there's the Ace of Cups, right? But we have no major arcana cards, so no yes cards, but a no card. I do have a feeling though that he, this person may have been into you in the past. Because we do have very nice feelings. I mean, it's the Ace of Cups. Right now, since we already determined, nope, does not want to get out of the friend zone. This person still really, really, really likes and appreciates you. And one scenario is your person would have wanted to get out of the friend zone. But um, the Ten of Wands in this deck means um, oppression. Yeah, so maybe this feeling was oppressed. This um, card reminds me of a group of friends. So maybe you know this person because you're in the same clique, same group of friends. And maybe somebody else influenced this person because we do have Zeus, like another person. And I, I feel like there may have been some kind of influence in the group. And then there was um, sadness. It's the lost card, Three of Swords. This is one scenario. Your person used to be into you. Or maybe this person is still likes you, obviously, with the Ace of Cups, right? And Six of Cups as well. But doesn't want to get out of your friend zone because, again... Maybe your person, this friend, feels that you are not interested because maybe this is you. You gave that person the feeling that you're not interested, so this person oppressed whatever feelings they had. And yeah, there was this sadness. That's one option. Another option, again, it might be that other people influenced your person. Or, of course, this person really likes you, but it's not over somebody else yet. And therefore would oppress those feelings and not letting them come up. However, I see this person has some kind of affection for you. I mean, we do have the Son of Cups as well. There would be the Knight of Cups. And it's a card that is talking about like giving an offer to somebody or sending sweet signals. So if this person is a very sweet person towards you, then I would say yes, 
this person is nice like this because this person really does 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 like you but i don't see that this person wants to get out of the friend zone however i have to say that this reading i forgot to mention it in the intro unfortunately this is not like a like a soulmate reading or something like this you know this person does this person want to get out of the friend zone a person that i love with all my heart it was more intended in like there is this guy you have in your inner circle and you want them in the friend zone but you have the feeling that they might want to get out of the friend zone and this is making you feel uncomfortable <laughs> so it is more leaning towards that but um again if this friend is very very sweet and nice to you you can relax i don't see anything you that would uh, should make you uncomfortable this person even if there were feelings would oppress them but again we do have the no card so that was your pile seattle if it resonated again please like and subscribe and i need another sip of tea forgot which one i made i think it was plum plum and cinnamon anyway <clears throat> Lovely Barcelona. Oh, I think my elephant is a little dirty somehow. Anyway, this is my Barcelona elephant. I think I bought it in 2018. April 2018, I believe. So, Barcelona. Does your person want to get out of the friend zone? And by person, I mean friend that you most likely want to stay in the friend zone. And also, I have to tell you if you like this video, if it resonates, please like, subscribe, and share. This would help my channel to grow, it will help me out. Also, I am available for private readings. I have to say, I do like these yes and no little cards, they're just fun, but usually, I'm specialized more in the in-depth soulmate twin flame relationship analysis so this is what i'm doing and i do have videos like this in my channel so please check that out and if you would like to win a free reading then please again like subscribe and share and leave a comment you can for example leave a little elephant or whatever comment you like that would let me know that you are interested in a free reading but now we will check if that person wants to get out of your friend zone Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, they do. We have the Empress, which is a yes card. We do have the Star, which is a yes card. We do have the Fool, another yes card. Then we do have the Father of Pentacles, which it would be a no card. And the Seven of Wands. But as I said in the intro, Major Arcana cards are yeses. Court cards are no. Minor Arcana cards are just telling me more about your situation. Three yes cards, one no card, so obviously we have more yes than no cards. And <laughs> this person, yeah, this person adores you so much. So I kind of hope for you it is someone you would like to be with. Otherwise, this could be very, very awkward. Don't you just hate it? If you like this guy platonically and he wants more than just that and that is just icky however it's the empress it's the kind of growth it's the kind of abundance so your person sees you basically as, as the queen of queens you know you do have everything you're the queen of cups so you're emotional you're the queen of pentacles so you are reliable you are the queen of wands so you're passionate and beautiful and the queen of swords which means you're intelligent too and you can talk a great communicator you know the empress she's everything right and um yeah this is the card of growth and abundance and i always call it the pregnancy card it doesn't have to be literally because a person would like to grow something and wants that to be born then the star of course is talking about yeah wishing upon a star right 
and it's talking about hopes and dreams and um, yeah, wish fulfillment, hoping basically. You know, like you would be his, your yeah, your prison star. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of water pouring out. Maybe that person even has quiet for you. I could imagine. Then we do have the fool. This is the card that's talking about new beginnings. And um, so maybe... No, I don't get any bad cards. I don't really get... Maybe for some of you, but I don't really get that you had been together and then in the friend zone. Because we do have the fool new beginnings. We do have the transformation with the butterfly here. But it's also like this person... Seems to be kind of spiritual, I have to say. Because the fool... Look, it's just trusting the universe like not even i don't know how you call those ropes that the horse has i don't know the english word i'm sorry but it's not like trying to lead the horse it's like okay i'll just trust that i would get safe onto the other side so to me it's the card of trust um faith blind faith and then we do have the star and the star i don't know yeah you can see this right there's like this pipeline Connected to the sky, to the heavens. It's the Aquarius card. Aquarius is the sign that's associated with the crown chakra, of course. So, that person is, yeah, he wants to commit because we do have the Father of Pentacles and other decks, the King of Pentacles. And that is the, um, sorry, it's not focusing now. And this is the king who wants serious commitment. You know, it's like he wants to give you his kingdom. <laughs> he wants to provide for you. He wants to give you security. And, you know, by security, I don't just mean like financial security. I mean like, but do we want most? And, of course, again, I forgot, if you are a guy looking for a girl, then it might be that she sees that in you or since um, energy is like neutral um, even if you would be a guy um, yeah sorry I just kind of lost my, my train of thought however your person would see you like the um, father of pentacles like the committal um, person the person that wants to provide security and security could also be in commitment of course and giving shelter in some way you know like warmth hugs all of that would uh, for me be a part of that of course providing you know providing affection and everything so you know this person wants something long stable with you and i think your person is getting ready to make some kind of move because we do have this card and it's talking about bravery it's talking about, yeah, just fighting for what you want. If some of you already do have a boyfriend, another guy, I think your person, would, this person, your friend would still want to fight for you because this person put you on a high, 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 high pedestal. I mean, look, this deep. Empress next to the star. <laughs> this is, um, if this would be a love reading, this would be amazing. This would be jackpot, basically. But since this is a reading, does this person want to get out of the friend zone? I really hope you want your person out of the friend zone. I really, really do. Because this person really wants to be your king. So, yeah, Barcelona. <laughs> I hope that goes well for you. And again, if this resonated, please like, subscribe, and share. And I need another sip of tea. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Then we are going to Los Angeles. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Pretty, isn't it? Los Angeles, let's see what you get. Does your person want to get out of the friend zone? And I also would like to ask you, please like, subscribe and share. That does, does something to the algorithm and helps my channel to grow. 
Also, if you are interested in a free reading, I'm going to have a giveaway once I hit 500 subscribers. So if you are interested in a private reading, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Maybe a skull or whatever you would like, a heart. <laughs> Just or just write something that would uh, let me know that you are interested in winning a private reading. However, let's see. Los Angeles. Okay, this is a no. We have one yes card. It's the High Priestess. We have the Father of Swords, which is a no card because it's a court card. The Father of Wands, another court card, so another no. And the Daughter of Cups, which would be the Page of Cups or Princess of Cups and other decks. Another no card. And we do have the Six of Pentacles. So we have one yes card and three no cards, which means no obviously um, is more than yes. However, the High Priestess, to me, is usually talking about some kind of soul bond. What's the situation? Okay. Maybe you already do have somebody. Or your person thinks that there's some kind of competition. Because we do have two fathers or two kings here. Or maybe somebody else um, is interfering here. This card often talks to me about interference. Um, also, for some of you... I think this person is romantically interested in somebody else because, again, we do have a no, right? We have one yes card, three no cards, and he's seeking Uther, no, yeah, Uther, trying to get Excalibur out of the stone. And all we see, like, I want to get the sword out, fight the dragon, then get the girl. <laughs> so I think there is someone he has his eye on, maybe somebody who doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't talk about it. And however, he does like you and kind of feels drawn to you because we do have the High Priestess. Again, is talking to me about some kind of maybe like soul communication, even like te telepathy or feeling drawn to another person, having some kind of spiritual bonds. And your person or your friend does like you, but maybe cannot always show in the way they would like because this... Uh, also indicates somebody to me like there is moonlight and this person is hiding behind the stone and to me this always implies that there is some feelings i mean it's a cup card there is feelings but i'm still hiding from them i'm not showing what i really truly want and also the high priestess is um, talking about being mysterious or not always talk about openly openly about stuff and then we do have the six of pentacles for me it's um I mean, we always have to see context, right? But it is a card that would uh, talk to me more about friendship than about love. Of course, not if it's like lying next to the lovers or two of cups or something like that. But um, this person wants to have you in their life because this card is talking about growth. And usually it's talking about being like equal, equal, give and take and those kind of things. But... um. You know, I don't think this person wants to get out of the friend zone, to be honest. they I mean, there is some kind of connection, yeah. I can't exactly tell you why, because, I mean, it's just like a five spread. It's not like a big reading on how does this person feel. If you would like to know how exactly this person feels, then you can um, check out another pick a card of mine or one of those I call them love quickies. Just pick a number intuitively and watch whatever love quickie number if you are interested in this person however i mean as i said this reading is actually meant in a way that you don't want this person to get out of the friend zone in this case i can say congratulations there is some kind of bond and also you can trust your intuition maybe your intuition also already told you but you're not sure because there may be yeah maybe it's a bit ambivalent and in, in signs but um, no, this person, I mean, it's three no cards out of five cards. So this is a no, okay? So if you didn't want 
this person to get out of your friend zone, lucky you. This is not going to be awkward then for you. <laughs> Los Angeles. Again, if this resonated, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, we are going to Frankfurt. And no, first T. I'm sorry. That's a so dry throat. So we got Frankfurt. Also known as Manhattan. <laughs> Can you see? So, Frankfurt, I also have to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share. This would help my channel to grow. And I am available for private readings. And as I usually say, these um, yes or no quick pick of cards, they're just fun. What I usually um, focused on in my line of work is more like deep soul connections. Like what is what do I have to do in order to yeah heal old stuff, what is still... I don't like the word blocking, but I can think of another word right now. What can I do in order to attract my person? What does my person feel for me right now? What is the issues? What is not healed yet? So this is what I specialized in. But those quick pick cards are fun too. And also I'm going to give away a free reading once I hit 500 subscribers. If you would like to win it. If you would like to enter, then please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Maybe like a skyscraper, I don't know, or just anything <laughs> that would let me know that you're interested in winning a private reading. So, Pile Frankfurt. Oh, interesting. It's a no. This one is a no. We didn't have one single pile. Where it was like ambivalent, where it was like same yes and no cards. Okay, those two cards came out in the last pile. That's interesting because we've had that like twice today in those six piles that the following pile had two of the same cards. And you just saw me, I mean, drawing, right? I mean, I draw blindly always. This card, this person does not know what to think about your situation at all. <sighs> this is a bit complicated. I mean, it's not that you, this person doesn't like you at all. We do have the Daughter of Cups. Again, this is a no card in this reading. But it's talking about some kind of emotions. You know, friendship is an emotion, of course. But it's also about hiding something, hiding from emotions. Now, we do have the Two of Swords in this deck. I like it. It's the card. It's called the Journal for Peace. And it's an offer. And you see two people um, coming towards one another. It's a very peaceful card. Even though he still has his spear. But it's usually a very peaceful card that is talking about harmony. However, we do have the daughter of swords, swords, and you see her with her shield and that spear is like, do not come closer. There is some kind of aggression here. Maybe something happened between the two of you. Maybe you had like a fallout. Maybe other people like interfered. Maybe you did not communicate clearly in some way because we do have this card. It's the science card. Six of Swords, um, in this deck it's called Signs, and it's the Riddle of the Sphinx. And to me, like, this, the Riddle is always, like, talking about, I don't know what's going on, I would like to understand something, but I don't understand completely. And a lot of Swords cards, I mean, I have one, two, three, four Swords cards out of five. And then we do have the Father of Swords, and... Um, in this deck, it means like somebody who's advising against something. So maybe this person does like you in some way. This card might indicate this for some of you. But his mind is like, nope. But it's, it's a mental thing. Or maybe somebody else is influencing this person on a mental thing. And your person doesn't really know. 
what's going on. Again, maybe there has been some kind of fight between you two. Or this person is not in a very stable place right now. Because again, this is like, this, is, this to me means like back off. So maybe it's the other way around. Maybe for some of you, you are the one who would like to get out of the friend zone. If that is so, then I am sorry for telling you that um, this person does not seem to be interested in that. Because if you are the one who would like to get out of the friend zone, again, this is like back off. You know, it's like, I don't, I, 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 I like to to talk to you in some way I like it when we have peace I don't really understand what's going on we have with this card but they're not very emotional cards and we do have peace again this card is not unemotional but it's like hiding from emotions and we do have four sword cards and those are not the most friendly cards I have to say because this one has to make a decision and he does it rationally, not with his heart. It's uh, talking to me about being closed off somehow. For the first time, I'm, I'm using this deck for like, I don't know, look at it. I mean, like 13 years or so probably. <laughs> and um, for the first time, I'm actually feeling drawn to those girls. He's got his feet on a skull, can you tell? It could indicate really maybe that something has ended. Maybe you were in the process where you were getting closer, but then something happens and um, this person is like, nope, this is done. Or this person is not open for love right now at all blocking off any kind of love because there's he's still going through some kind of transformation trying to find inner peace with um, whatever um, subject it is so if you were the one wanting to get out of this um, friend zone again I'm, I'm sorry I would advise you to back off and not trying to push this person in any way however what I always say this is the right now cards, okay? Does not mean that it would couldn't be different in a couple of months. If, if, and this if is important, you change your energy because the universe is always giving us what we are sending out. So if you feel blocked off by a person, if you feel rejected, then it would be your job to see why am I being rejected? Why do I get mirrored rejection? Where am I rejecting myself? Or where have I been rejected in the past and have not get over that? You gotten over that yet? So, if you do love this person, principally, I would always, 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 always say there is a chance because I believe love, true love, is something that goes both ways. Otherwise, it would be some kind of obsession or projection. Because I always tell my clients, if you take a rope and you bind object A to object B, you cannot say A is a bound to B, but B is not bound to A. You know, it's like if there's like some connection, a true connection always has to be on both sides. So if this is the case and you want to get out of the friend zone and you do feel a strong connection to this person, do not fret, but do your shadow work. Okay, we can change the future. There's not one future. There's different um, timelines, different possibilities of future, and we choose our future with our energies. And in that case, I would advise you to maybe listen to some Abraham Hicks on YouTube, or if you are a little more advanced, maybe Neville Goddard. The teachings of Neville Goddard. Or just Google manifestations, how do I manifest something? And also, how do I do shadow work? And revision. You can, um, at YouTube, Google Neville Guarded and revision. 
Oh, it's only pouring and my cat is hiding now. <laughs> Baby. It's raining outside. Cats don't like it. Um, yeah, anyway, so if you wanted to get out of the friend zone, get out of this kind of energy because, again, we like attracts like. If your person is kind of pushing you away, this might be that you're holding on too tight. And the tighter you hold on to your person, the further you push it away. Now my other cat is hiding with the shoe. I don't get it. I mean, the balcony is closed. It's The door's closed. It's just outside, but still they <laughs> freak out because of the rain. <laughs> Kitties. And if it's the other way around, sorry for rambling. If um, you don't want your person to get out of the friend zone, then con congratulations because... This person does not want to get out of the friend zone right now. I feel this person doesn't know really how to handle you. If there has been some falling out though, however, this person is wishing for peace. You know, maybe not right now because we do have this card right here. You know, this um, backing off card. However, ultimately there is a chance of um, getting a peaceful kind of friendship relationship. But also, again, I believe a mirroring. And while I said it, I saw 51.15 on the watch <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> this card is talking about, yeah, being insecure is the wrong word. But again, it's the riddle. It's about not knowing something. So maybe you don't really know what you want either with this person. It doesn't have to mean romantically at all. It, maybe do I even want this friendship or not or you don't understand something so I would advise you to maybe meditate and um, check your own feelings what do I really want with that person or not so yeah that was you Pyle Frankfurt I hope you liked it I hope it resonated if it did again please like subscribe and share and if you do want to get out of the friend um, zone with this last person maybe you could ch check up one of my other readings about um, yeah, soul loves you know like um, rational person standing and again please 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 do check on manifestation or law of attraction because once you change your energy you change your outcome and you can pull your person in okay Look, I just um, put all of my cards together and look what's looking at me. It's the twin, Ten of Pentacles. Very happy card. It's a card that's talking about long-lasting relationship. Doesn't have to be with that person, however. But for those of you who actually wanted that person to get out of the friend zone, this is where it could lead. If not, um, this is waiting for you with another person. <laughs> it's a very happy card, okay? So... Anyway, I hope you liked this reading and I wish you a nice day or evening or night or whatever and bye.